let's derive a Papatau's rule for an indeterminate limit of the form 0, 1, 0. So if we start off with a definition of these derivatives, and now if we divide these two together, noting that x minus c cancels. And here we've assumed that the functions f and g are both differentiable, and the derivative of g at c is not zero. Now for the special case, where both f of c and g of c are both zero, then we can get rid of these terms. And now as x approaches c, we have a ratio of zero on zero. And we can also write this ratio of the derivatives at c in the following limit form. So that's basically the same thing. And by al Hapatal's rule, taking the limit of the functions is the same as taking the limit of the derivatives, where we have the indeterminate form 0 on 0. So let's quickly have a look at this example. So we have the limit of two functions. So as x approaches c, which is pi on 2 in this case, we can see that we have an indeterminate form of 0 on 0. So if we take the limit of the ratio of the derivatives, we can see that this evaluates the 1. So we can observe that the derivatives, or the slopes of the tangent to the curve of both functions, become the same as x approaches pi on 2. And this is true from both sides. 